Hello everyone and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. Now one of the questions that people keep on asking me is should you learn Cif UI instead of UI Kit? Meaning should you just skip the whole UI Kit framework and jump onto just learning Cif UI? And my answer is that, that at this particular moment you should be learning both. Yes, so you should be learning UI kit and you also should be learning the Cif UI framework. And what is the reason? Well, the reason is that if you are a newly graduate person from a university or a boot camp and not even just a newly graduate junior developer, but also intermediate or senior developer and you are going to work for a company, let's say you're going to work for Facebook, you're going to work for Apple or Microsoft for their iOS project or any kind of a project, the chances are that you will be contributing to an existing legacy project, legacy application, which means that the project is an ongoing project and it has been working for two to five years or even more, and you will become part of that project. You will add some feature, remove the bugs and all those kind of things. So it's not going to be a completely brand new project. It will be an existing project. And that is very, very common whenever you are looking for a new job or you are uh, coming into the field, it's very hard to get fresh projects where not even a single line of code has been written. So all of those legacy projects will be using at this particular moment UIKit. And some of them might even use Objective-C. So I also recommend that you get some knowledge of Objective-C. Like if you want to work for Facebook and certain parts of Facebook, uh, or Insta uh, Instagram are actually written in Objective-C. So you have to know Objective-C in order to work on those different components. Now obviously in the future direction would be that everything would be Swift and all that stuff, but the legacy code has already been written and it works perfectly, so why update it to Swift or any other technology? So that is why it is important for you to know UIKit and that is why you should also learn UI Kit framework, even though Swift UI allows you to do things much more quickly by using a declarative interface. Okay, so legacy project already using UI Kit, that's why we use UI Kit. What about greenfield application? What about applications that are brand new? Not a single line of code has been written. So this is an interesting question and it really depends on the app and it really depends upon the comfort level that you have with Surf UI. Now, Surf UI is not perfect, right? I mean, it was just released last year, 2019, and it does have some issues and it is com continuously evolving also. So we are seeing Swift UI for iOS 14, but we still see some issues here and there because it's, it's a brand new thing. It's gonna take some time to develop to be a little bit more mature. So for your greenfield application, if you know all of those edges, then you can definitely choose Swift UI. But make sure that you understand that it's not going to be a completely smooth transition. Maybe you wanted to use a library and you will not be able to use that library because it was only available for UI kit and then you have to write a whole UI view representable wrapper and all that stuff. But make sure that you understand that Swift UI for a project right now there will be some edges that you will face and then you'll have to rethink your design. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot make a production ready, really nicely polished app using Surf UI, because you can, you just have to know those edges. Like, okay, this doesn't work, so there's a hack for it or there's a, there's a way to solve those problems. So at this point, it is important that you know UI kit framework as an iOS developer, so you can work on the legacy projects and it is important for you to start investing some time into learning the Surf UI framework because that is clearly the future direction that Apple is taking. So hopefully after watching this video, you have a little bit more idea of what will be the benefits of uh, choosing one approach or the other. And it will give you an idea of that you should learn UI kit because if you are planning to get a job uh, in iOS right now, I mean, it is very, very common that they have written, already written their code in UI Kit, uh, which can span or go back like a couple of years, and you will be working in a legacy project most probably. And legacy projects right now will be 
written using UIKit because the UI wasn't even around uh, two years back. All right, so hopefully this will give you a much better idea. Thank you so much. If you like this video and want to support my channel, then the best way would be to check out my Udemy course on Swift UI. It is 20 plus hours of Swift UI content and the best selling course on Udemy. You can see that we're gonna start with creating and combining views, then building lists and navigation. It's even going to go into and explaining what exactly is MVVM design pattern. Next up is going to talk about how you can create a SIF UI app integrating with core data. And I have a huge section which covers SIF 2.0, meaning iOS 14 changes and animations. And then we're gonna learn about building a beautiful card interface using SIF UI. So check out the YouTube description for the link of this course and all of my other courses. And there's also a Patreon link. So if you just want to support every month, then you can use the Patreon link. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much.